Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode in Premiere, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to work with slow motion footage. Now this really is determined by what sort of camera that you are using. Um, if you are using something like the RED camera, the RED camera is a camera that will shoot a higher frame rate, in some instances up to like I think 240 frames per second, uh, depending on, and, and also keep in mind that when oftentimes when you change the, your frames per second, it will oftentimes bring your resolution down in the camera. And that is the case with the RED camera, but what the RED camera does when it's finished in a lot of these big professional cameras is it conforms the footage for you. Understand that most footage when you're watching a movie it will be playing back around 24 frames per second. That's 24 images per second that you are seeing. When you shoot slow motion, you're shooting a higher frame rate. Now I've got some footage here. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna kind of go through this and explain it uh, very slowly, but I've got some footage here. This is log footage, so it's very flat right now, which we can quickly add a, a LUT to. There we go, that looks better. Now this footage, if we look at it closely here, this was shot, it was essentially shot at 120 frames per second. So that means it was taking 120 pictures per second. And when I dropped this in the timeline, it created a timeline and it matched the frame rate for the timeline. So what this essentially means, now watch this when I play this footage back. And look at how it plays back. It plays at normal speed. It's very, very smooth. If it's very videoish, because it's playing back 120 frames per second. So if you shoot 120 frames per second and play it back at 120 frames per second, it's just going to be in regular motion. So we are seeing an awful lot of pictures hit there, and therefore it looks very videoish and looks very, very smooth as well. So what, how you get slow motion is when you shoot at 120 frames per second, and then you play back 24 frames of those per second, or 30 frames per second. So you're slowly playing them back, and what you end up getting is slow motion. Now there's a couple ways that you need to do this, and a couple things that you need to be aware of. First of all, your camera. What sort of camera are you using? In this instance, this was shot on a, on a Sony uh, A6300. Oftentimes, a lot of the prosumer cameras and a lot of the, the DSLR or mirrorless style cameras will shoot at a higher frame rate, but when you bring them in, they do not conform the footage down to 24 frames per second like the RED camera does. So the RED camera, you import the footage, you drop it in here, it will be, it'll say that it, the, the footage, even though you shot it at, let's say, 120 frames or 240 frames per second, it will say in here that it was shot at 24 frames per second or 23.976, whatever format it's conforming it to. And that's a, a, an internal camera setting. But the Sony cameras, the DSLR cameras, the mirrorless cameras oftentimes do not conform it for you. They bring it in. And this, this is kind of nice that it doesn't do this because you can do what's called speed ramping, which I'm going to show here in a minute. So what we did with the Sony camera, and and like I said, oftentimes when you uh, set your cameras up to shoot at a higher frame rate, it will bring the resolution down. In the 6300, it takes it from 4K to uh, 1920 by 1080. So what you're going to have to do within the camera settings here, whatever camera you're using, if it's this style of camera, you're going to have to, first of all, in the Sony, you have to tell it that you do not want it to be shooting at 4K because if you go down to the if you go down to the frame rate, rate settings, you'll see here that we only have the options of doing 24 frames or 30 frames per second. So we have to change the resolution. So I'm going to go back here to the file format. We're going to change this to uh, from 4K, turn off the 4K and turn it to 1920 by 1080, which is just this HD. So same recording format, just at HD, which t cuts the resolution in half. And 1080 is really nice, high quality footage. It's not 4K, but it is just, just keep that in mind. And that really depends, that is really determined by the cameras that you shoot on. Even the, even the red camera will take down the resolution when you up the frame rate. So now I can open up my options here and now look at that. It unlocks it and I can do, let's, we're going to do 120 frames per second and we're going to do it at 100 megabits per second, get the best quality out of this we can. And then we get out of that and now you can see that our camera is set at, uh, it is recording in HD and it's recording 120 frames per second. Now keep in mind when you're shooting footage uh, at this frame rate, this is really going to knock down your exposure. So this is best if you're outside or if you're inside, you have to have a lot of light to shoot at this high frame rate. And 120 frames is going to give us a nice kind of, a nice solid slow motion feel to it. So now I'm back here in Premiere and I've got the footage imported. And, and once again, if you just grab some footage and you drag it to your timeline, you got to be careful about this because once you drag it to your timeline, it's going to generate a timeline that plays back at 120 frames per second. And then it's going to be very, very, and then it's just going to play back at regular speed and very, very smooth. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to select all my footage that's in, the, in slow motion. This is the stuff that I want to use as slow motion. I'm going to select all these items here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to modify and I'm going to say tell this to interpret footage. 
And interpret footage is going to tell it what frame rate you want it to play back at. This is the frame rate that it was shot at, 120 frames per second, but we're going to tell it to assume that this is 23.976. Now, whether you're using 24 frames per second exactly or you're using the 23.976 uh, standard, it really came from drop frame. It is not. This is not drop frame, by the way, but it is basically they, they've kept this frame rate to adhere to the drop uh, the drop frame the drop frame rate from years ago. So and it's and it's kind of stuck. So I'm going to hit OK. And now look what it says. It's reading this footage at 23.976. I'm going to get rid of this timeline, and now I'm going to generate a timeline based off the, the new frame rate. So what it's going to do, it's, going to, it's still going to play at those 120 frames uh, per second back, but it's not. But it will play 24 of them first in one second, then 24 of them next in the next second, and so on, until it, it, it plays all the 120 frames uh, per second that you were doing. But now we're just slowing it down to... Uh, now we're just slowing it down to 24 frames per second, which is going to give us slow-mo. I'm going to generate a timeline based off of that frame right now. Let's add our LUT to this. So now when we play back, we get true slow motion. And this is progressive scan, by the way, so it's a little scrubby like film is. But here we go as the dog jumps. Nice, smooth, slow motion. So that's basically all you have to do if you've got a camera that shoots a higher frame rate. A lot of cameras, if they're just consumer cameras, oftentimes will shoot up to 60 frames per second. You can still do this. If you're playing it back at 24, that basically gives you two and a half times slow sp uh, slow motion speed, which is still a nice uh, subtle slow motion. It's not really super slow, like 120 frames per second, which is essentially 120 divided by 24 gives us five times slow motion. This is slowing it down by five times here, which makes sense because, yeah, 60 is going to give you... 60, which is half of 120 divided that by 24, is 2.5. So 2.5 times slow speed, then 5 times slow speed with 120 frames per second. All right, so with this, let's show you some speed ramping here, some things you can do with speed ramping. Let's find a good shot where the dog jumps here. Okay, so I found this shot here. Uh, it's a really good shot of the dog running and doing this big leap in the air. Whee! And this is playing back in all slow motion. So, so let's show you that you have access to the full the full speed of this clip here. What we're going to do is we're going to open up our speed ramping. I'm going to I'm going to expand the height of my track here, which will give me a little bit more room to work with what's called what's our speed color speed ramping. Now, I will not need audio for this speed ramping for some reason Premiere will not work on audio, it only works on the visual. So I'm just going to select this and delete it. If you need to use the sound, you can just bring the sound in and you'll have to mix it later. So to get rid of that sound, I'm going to hold down option and click on the audio and hit delete. And I'm going to go up to my little effects tab right here and I'm going to right click on it. And what this is referencing here is this keyframer that I've got right here. This is a keyframer. Right now it is keyframed for opacity. So if I turn it down, it's making it uh, it's making it less opaque. If I turn it up, now it's fully opaque. So so that messes with transparency right there. But I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna change that line to time remapping and speed. And it just turned this line into the time remapping function. So let's say I want this to be regular motion, and then when the dog jumps up in the air, I want it to slow down. I want it to slowly move into slow motion, and then when the dog hits the ground, go back into fast motion, into regular motion. So what is regular motion? Well, motion is regular motion with this. I figured that out. The way you figure this out is, once again, calculator. I'm going to say 120 frames per second divided by 24 is 5 times the speed. So I'm going to have to increase. If I increase the speed by 500%, this should look like it's run, like it's running normal. So I, actually, I'm going to try that first. Before I do the speed ramping, I'm just going to select this, hit Command-R or Control-R on a PC, and it brings open the speed duration item here. I'm going to increase this whole clip by 500%. Hit OK, and look how it shortened it, because now it's going to play it back, back faster. And let's see what it does. And now it looks just like normal. It looks, it looks like normal speed, and it's actually converted it to 24 frames per second by removing frames, and therefore it looks progressive scan as well. It's a little choppy rather than that kind of smooth video. It looks a little bit more film-like. Okay, so I'm going to undo that and get this back to where it was before, where it's just playing the full thing in slow motion. So let's get to the speed ramp. Let's say what I want it to do is I want it to be running regular motion here, and then when she jumps up in the air... Uh, right about here, I want it to turn to slow motion right there. So I'm going to hold down Command or Control on a PC, and it brings up this little plus symbol right here. Watch this, see that plus symbol? Uh, if I let go and watch that, when I hold down Command or, or Control on a PC, it's going to bring up this little plus symbol. And I go click, and it makes a keyframe there. And now I can move it through, and I'm going to say I want to find a moment where I want this dog to speed up. So it's going to go slow motion here, and then right before she hits the ground, maybe like right there, we want it to go back to fast motion. So I'm going to go click there and add another keyframe. Command click. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go before here, and I'm going to grab this keyframe right here, and I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to drag it up, and you see this percentage that's going down there. It's going to tell me what that new section is going to be at percentage-wise. I'm going to crank that up to 500%. Right there, let go. And now look at this. It's shortened this area here because this now plays back at 500%, and then this is going to be at 100%, and then here it's going to play back at, I'm going to do this at 500% as well. Crank this up, 500%. So it will be 500%. 100%, 500%. And actually, I'm going to expand this a little bit so there's a little bit of extra more handles on either side. Right there. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. And we're going to play the, through this. Regular motion. And watch what happens when it hits this keyframe. Boom. Slow motion in the air. And watch. Boom. And back to fast motion. Now, this is a sudden... Uh, this is a very quick, sudden uh, drop from, from 500% to 100%. So what we can do here, just to make this a little smoother... Uh, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to plus, plus a couple times and zoom up a little closer. I'm going to grab this little tab here and I'm going to drag it to the right. I'm going to drag, and now, and now look what it's doing. It's creating what's called a ramp. So what this is going to do is it's going to gradually turn this down from here to here to this speed. It's going to tr gradually transition from 500%. See how it gradually moves into that now. It's very subtle because I did it pretty quick. Let's make this even a little bit bigger just to show. Now you'll see it will gradually, from this point to this point, will go from 500 to 100%. See how that slows down, and now it's at 100%. So that's from here to here. Rather than just this sharp, uh, sharp drop-off, it gradually does that change there. Now if you want to make this even really smooth on your curve here, you, I can click in this area here, and I can grab this little node here, and we can do this on what's called a curve. This will be more gradual. It'll gradually move into that speed and gradually move out of that speed, make it a little smoother rather than doing it so in such a harsh fashion. And I can do this on this side as well. Grab that over, grab this over, and kind of expand that so it's more gradual. And then you can change the, the distances at the beginning, and that's the end right there. I'm gonna, click right, I'm gonna click right here and bring up in my little node there, and we're going to change this a little Bezier curve, and we're gonna drag that and make it a smooth curve. So it will gradually fall off. So let's see what we've got now. There we go. And so I want that to happen. Maybe now the dog's in slow motion in slow motion in the air for too long here, maybe. So let's say about right there, I want it to, to go back to regular motion. So I'm just going to move down here, and I'm going to grab this section in between and just drag it. If you grab it in between, it won't expand the in and out points. You grab this and drag it over and put it place it where you want it to stop, right about there. So let's see how that looks. Cool. That looks really nice. I like that. And there you go. So that there is speed ramping in a nutshell. And once again, you you have to shoot it. If you have, have something that you shot in it in 24 frames per second and you're slowing it down, that is a completely different method. This is actually taking a higher frame rate and slowing it down.